Hi all, Jared from IGN here, along with Roque from Coffee Powered Machine. Hi Roque. Hi. And we're working at Oculus, right? Yeah. Uh, this is this is a uh, a new game you guys are working on here. What is going on on this screen, Roque? Well, basically Oculus is a game about an angry mob set in ancient Greece. So uh, the objective of the game is is to build up a huge mob and to overthrow the Olympic gods. And because of the nature of the game, it's it's everything. All the levels are procedurally generated. All procedurally so, generated. Okay. Yeah. So we really want aimed at having replayability. Okay. So every time you you grab a unit, that unit will have like unique stats and stuff like that. Okay. And also you have like heroes that uh, it w they will change your your attack, your defense power. They have unique abilities like going through walls or make the units. Uh, Fly. I, I, okay, so all these guys units. falling behind you have unique powers? Like, no, no, not all of them. Not all of them? Uh, a, a few. Just it, a few. How do I tell the difference? For example, the, the one running in red, yeah. the, the one above the philosopher, yeah. that's a, a unique hero okay. that's unlocked from the start. Uh, he will give you a random boost. And uh, I see there are, there are button. Uh, there are B, A, X over some of these guys. Are those heroes? Or? No, they are items. You, use, uh, you have different type of units. Yeah, besides the heroes, you have like uh, citizens, you have warriors, you have defenders, and you have the slaves. Basically, the, the only ones who can carry items are the slaves. Okay. Uh, and actually, with B, you, you just use the ham and all the units get healed. Okay, so that so you, you're grabbing items, and where are you finding? You, things are moving so quickly, are you bursting down buildings and pulling heroes out of them? Is that what's happening? No, they, they, the heroes actually you have to buy them. Oh, you're it's buying like, them? Okay. You can find heroes uh, in a normal playthrough, but yeah. it's like a super sweet thing that will happen, but it's, it's not something that happens very often. But uh, once every two levels, for example, uh, you have a store Okay. Where you can exchange unit for heroes. Okay. So you have like uh, five citizens, and you can lock a king that will uh, raise the, the amount of people that you can grab. Okay. Right now, she can can have only 25 people in case mob. Okay, so we got a mob of 25 to start. What's the maximum size for a mob? Well, actually, the maximum size is 180 people. Oh, wow. And you have 180 unique mob characters all following you around, smashing things. Yeah, that's okay. right. Okay, so how are you progressing here? We see you're just knocking things down and you're stomping on, on big soldier dudes. What's what's happening right now? Well, in it, this is a level, right? Yeah. Each level, um, you have to destroy all the enemies that spawn. Okay. And when... Once you do that, you can progress to the next level. So basically, the structure is very simple. It's it's like a rock like, but a light rock like okay. or something. That uh, when you swipe the screen of enemies, you will get to the next level and so on and so on until you reach the boss. The boss of the level it's a Olympian god that you have to to beat in order to progress to the next world. So now we are at Delphi. And Adelphi, sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, now he's buying heroes. Oh, okay. So example. this is the hero shop. Okay. Yeah, he can exchange five citizens for Menelaus, Antigone, or Andromeda. Oh yeah. All right. So and which one are you gonna choose? I, I would choose Menelaus because at first it's probably better to have more uh, mob capacity. Okay. So how does how does having more mob capacity help you? Uh, you can grab more units. Now uh, she can grab up until thirty units. Okay. All right. So now, yeah, and once you have more, you can deal more damage. You yeah, can stomp things faster. Now, what happens in these battles? You're you're kind of surrounding people and beating them up. How does the combat actually work here? Well, basically, the the game feels like a twin stick shooter. Okay. With one stick, you control the philosopher. Right now, uh, Shay is controlling Plotinus, which is like a famous philosopher. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of those uh, of philosophers in the game that once unlocked, you can use them. Okay. Actually, the game it's like. Uh, each philosopher is alive, so if somebody defeats Plotinus, you will start controlling the next philosopher. Okay, why did right. you guys use philosophers for your avatars? Uh, because it's, at first it was funny Yeah. to think of the, the intellectual pushers of the mob. It's like uh, the, go the gods are very nasty people, Yeah. and y there's one time that you say, well, that's enough, uh, enough of the Greek ruling. Uh, of the Olympian ruling, okay. right? So there had to be some intellectual pusher of the uh, revolution. So we thought of the idea of philosophers, and we we tried to like grab a lot of of very well known philosophers and just make them characters, avatars. But actually, you can have like famous philosophers or not. The the units in white 
are are also philosophers, but they are like generic. There's also okay. a type of unit. So basically, you can have like heroes and uh, hero philosophers and common philosophers. Okay, just uh, the, so all different tiers of bit. Now, you speaking of all these characters you see running around, you were the you were the artist and co-designer on this game. So why That's did you right. choose this particular style? Uh, you mean the pixel art? Yeah. And the three D. Well, basically, we we. Sh it's like the the whole concept of Hoklos uh, was born from us wa uh, doing whatever we wanted. It's like we have a very anarchic start at first. Yeah. It's like we we've been developing games for Facebook and mobile games uh, for a long time, and we we really wanted to do something that it clicked with us. Okay. It's like we say we were gonna do whatever we want. We don't care about anything, and I just wanted to do pixel art. I thought that. It might look neat with 3D, with mm -hmm. 3D objects and 3D environments. So I, I we just started from there. It's like in the first brainstorming we did, uh, we we remember uh, an episode from The Simpsons, part yeah. of night where uh, the, there's a huge angry mob. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, sure. I know the episode it, you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. So that's basically the the start of Oculus. Uh, that was the beginning uh, of this. No kidding. Yeah, it, how many unique characters? Like how many different? unique pieces of art for people are there in the game altogether? There's a lot. Yeah. Actually, that those are the units, Yeah. which are like, uh, these are the heroes. Oh, those yeah. are the heroes. We, we have uh, 123 heroes, uh, okay. almost 100 units, and those are enemies and gods. And you drew and animated all of these? Yeah. Oh, wow. Over, the, over, the, over four years. You're we, busy. Yeah. Four years. Four yeah. years to make them. Wow. Yeah, okay. we started like in November, October th from 2012. Oh, my goodness. Now I heard you guys mention uh, there might be a secret you were willing to show us. Are we are we headed that way yet, or is that no? Uh, that I, coming I, along? I I think uh, because the secrets the con the secret conditions might be random. Oh so right, just like everything else is randomized, uh, right? Yeah. So I I think uh, the conditions were not met in okay. order to unlock that's the fine. secrets. It was in the previous stage. Oh, that's this is a, this is also a secret. It's a secret enemy that unlocks after a few playthroughs. Oh. It's Sila. And it's very hard. That's why he had to like throw a lot of items against. Her. Okay, so you're throwing items. Now, what happens if you lose a fight? I mean, are, are you, are, if uh, if somebody just overcomes your mob, can you run off and replenish, or do you restart the level, or how yeah. do you do it? No, if uh, if your philosopher is killed, you will start controlling the next philosopher in your mob, right? Ah. So the philosophers are your your lives. Uh, if she uh, press pl uh, pause now. You can see that he has two philosophers. Okay. So basically, uh, he can die once and uh, two more times. Uh, he passes the torch of knowledge on yeah, to, to onto to an acolyte. Two. Okay. Yeah, exactly. that's, that's neat. So if uh, if uh, an enemy like decimates uh, decimates uh, his mob, he he can like go running from the level to grab all the remaining units in the level. But well, basically that's it. It's it's like you can. Uh, he can like die a lot, and he can still grab a lot of units. That are in, in in every stage, there are a lot of units. What was the uh, distortion we just saw on the screen? Were you yeah, near death then, or that? Those are the smoke emitters because the 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 secret we were talking about before. Yeah. It's like the Delphi's oracle, right? Okay. So the that's uh, Delphi, the oracle of Delphi, like they they got drug. With smoke, right? They stand over the smoke, let it breathe in their faces. This is an ancient yeah. Greece, yeah. So the secret is that you have to destroy a lot of those in order okay. to unlock the the secret mini boss, which is the Delphi's Oracle. Oh, okay. Wow, neat. But you you also have to find the the the, the secret entrance, which was like a few levels before. You apparently have a mega chaotic mob, it says. Yeah, when you have a mega chaotic mob, you can destroy buildings. Oh, okay, so that's it's how like you do it. That's the only condition. Yes. Right now, he can destroy the building because he's in mega chaotic mob. If he's not, it's like we, we wanted to make some time mechanic, uh, time management mechanic, yeah. in order for you to, to always try to be very chaotic, very messy. Okay. So we've got, and now in the first, uh, oh, who are we picking here? We got trading units for heroes? Yeah, that's Memnon. Okay. All right. Which it's a huge uh, Ethiopian uh, legend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we try to stick to Greek f uh, things, but we ended up like adding a few more things of contemporary mythos. From, yeah. Uh, near 
uh, countries. Makes sense. And now here we have Hera. So Hera is your boss on the stage. Is Hera always the first boss? No. Or okay, so let's just randomize. No. Basically, uh, you you always after five level you always have to fight a god. Okay. But the the god that uh, can appear it's run. Uh, it's, it's it's random, but from a subset, right? Okay. So you it's can gonna fight be... Hera, you can fight Apollo, uh, you can fight Hades in the first war, for example. It just depends on what happens. Now, what are, what are these uh, what are these things branching out from below her feet? Yeah, actually, he, she has two attacks. The first attack is she disbands your mob. Okay. And the second attacks, uh, she can turn them. Uh, she can turn the mob into chickens. So how does how does the battle strategy work? Well, basically. I, I, I didn't finish uh, talking about controls, but basically it's uh, twin stick shooters. Okay. Uh, with uh, also with the triggers, you you can attack or defend uh, and collapse or disperse the mob. Ah, it's I like see. you have those four actions, which comes. Uh, it's they are the ones used all the game, right? So basically, you have uh, this is a very easy boss. You have to avoid all the enemies she's spawning okay. and uh, attack her. Okay, uh, and try to defend the, the attacks she's doing. Yeah, I saw a chicken run off a minute ago. Did she turn someone into a chicken at some yeah. point? Yeah, I was there. wondering about that. <laughs> so Hera, uh, I always felt, oh, we got her. Yeah, I always felt kind of sorry for Hera. Zeus was always cheating on her. She was his wife. It was she. Li she had a hard time here. Yeah, but she was very vengeful. Yeah, well. she was she was frustrated. She made life difficult for a lot of, of innocent women. That's true. So maybe yeah. <laughs> maybe she deserves a, a good a, a good battling every now and then. Uh, we'll see. Uh, well, anyway, uh, thank you so much for joining us uh, and showing us this. What's the uh, release date? August eighteenth. August eighteenth. Very so, soon. So we'll see Oculus on August eighteenth, and we'll see it on what platforms? On Steam. On Steam. Uh, for PC, Mac, Linux, and also Xiu uh, Xiang Humble. All right, so we're going to see it in the Humble Bundle, we're going to see it at GIGU, and we're going to see it on PC, Mac, and Linux on Steam. That's right. Excellent. And uh, that's August 18th. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thank you. And uh, for everything ancient Greek mythology and battling the gods, stay with your friends here at IGN.